We are at the North Carolina Speedway for the fourth race of season four of the SCRL NASCAR Legends Series. The 13 car, Leroy Jones, will be leading us to the green flag. We'll start beside him is the 59 of Carter Joey. Rest of the starting lineup for today's race. Points leader, Jimmy Sampson, will be starting in the 27th spot. The defending race winner of this race is Jonathan Reigns. Reigns is not here today to defend his win from one season ago. So, North Carolina. This is also the... This is the seventh race we are racing here in North Carolina. Only one driver has ever swept this track. That was Bulldog 67 in Season 1. North Carolina. A track that NASCAR should still be racing at, but unfortunately does not. Which is a shame. So, we've had good races this season so far. In the first race, we had a last lap pass. In the second race, Aureus won that race. And in the last race, Muhammad Zain Abdullah won that race. So, will the entertaining races continue? We shall see. We also have a winless driver as our championship points leader. That is not uncommon because Cole Nixie won the title in Season 3 without a win. And here's the command. Forty-nine laps is the distance for today's race. Not fifty, but forty-nine. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems. In the last race, we had Chris Kyle did not even complete a lap, so it's good to see every driver have a chance to compete. Leroy Jones already has a championship in his very short career. Won the Willem Euro 1 championship. It's either 1 or 2. I think it was 1. He won it by 1 point. So, or was it 2? Either way, Leroy Jones is a former champion. He's got some tough challengers behind him to try and prevent him from winning his first NASCAR Legends Series race. Pace car will pull in. There he goes. Pull them belts tight. We are racing 49 laps here at the Rock. The Rory Jones leads us to the green. Carter Joey starred right beside him in the 59 car. Carter goes a little bit wide, coming out of turn number one into turn number two. Down to backstretch for the first time under green conditions. You see everybody trying to get as many spots as they can as quick as possible. Brock Beard in his second career, in his fourth career start, excuse me, trying to go for the lead in his first attempt. Here he go. Leading the first lap will be Leroy Jones. Can Brock Beard clear? No, he does not. Behind Brock Beard is the 31 car, Carter Friesian. So we got the two Carters in first and third. Brock Beard is still hounding him for the lead. Here comes the 28 car. Jack Legacy, our Bush Series champion for season one. Can Jack take over third? Oh, our leader's going way wide. Here comes Brock Beard for the race lead. Oh, we got a spin. Yep, caution is out. The 27, Cole Nixie, defending champion. And Brock Beard will take over the race lead. And Brock will lead his first ever laps. So good on Brock to lead your first ever laps in this league. We'll take a look and see what happened to Cole Nixie. Here's the cause of caution. Cole Nixie racing with Jimmy Sampson and the 98 Chris Kyle. Uh-oh, looks like Chris goes up the track just a little bit right there. Makes contact with the bumper of Cole Nixie and Cole Hart. Oh, my God. Driver's door in the concrete guardrail. Wow. This has not been the season Cole has uh, envisioned. He's the former champion. Trying to become the first driver to win back-to-back -back championships. And he gets taken out on lap number two. 
Let's go with this same camera angle. Yep, Chris just hooks bumpers, fenders, bam. That was a hard hit by Cole Nixie. Hopefully the driver is all right. No safer barriers here in 1970. So hopefully no concussion for Cole. We only had a one-car incident on the backstretch. He was able to drive it out of the way with severe damage to the left side of his vehicle. This should be a quickie caution. We'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. No one is out of the race. Cole Nixie is one lap down because his crew is trying to repair the damage to the left side of his vehicle, so hopefully they did. Brock Beard is our race leader. Second is Leroy Jones. Third, Carter Friesian. Third, Jack Legacy. Fourth, Marco Telzit. Fifth, Cassie Dent. Sixth, Carter Joey. Seventh, Cam Nixie. Eighth, Dale Jones. Ninth, A.J. Jones. And tenth is Eddie Wacumbi. Here we go. Get this race restarted. Back under green. Cole Nixie will be hoping to get a good restart and try and get his lap back. And we're back to racing here at the Rock. And obviously that damage is going to slow Cole because look at him. He's already being passed by Jack Legacy for f by the Ford drop. Oh, no. The first three cars is able to get past Cole. He's holding up the uh, 18 of Cassie Dent right now. Cole has to move aside at some point to give these drivers room to race. Battle for the race lead. Here comes the 13 car. Leroy Jones. Can he clear Brock Beard? He wants his race lead back. Looks like he will. Cole finally moves to the high side, which is going to slow them up just a little bit. You got four car breakaway between the 13, the 31, the 28, and the 70 car. Brock Beard, if we run on the high side, Brock will keep second place. Has completed another lap on the green. 40 laps to go. Yeah, you see Cole, he's he's gotten out of the way, some of these drivers. They're just not his day. Cole will be slowing up the uh, 36 car. Now he goes fully out of the way, good. Cole, a veteran driver, knows today's not his day. He's just get out of everybody's way to allow them to race. Back up the race lead. You see Brock Beard trying to reclaim the race lead from Leroy Jones. Not enough. Take a look at what's going on back here. You see Dealey and Ibrahim in our Riverside almost race winner. Trying to go around the 17 car of A.J. Jones. Whoa, we got Oh! We got more crashes. More crashes. There it is. It's the, oh, my God. It's the big one. It is the huge one here at the Rock. And Leroy Jones will lead him to the caution flag. And, boy, are we going to have a replay to look at this time. Leroy Jones is our race leader. We'll take a look at the caution. So here's the cause of caution. The 29, Marco tells it gets clipped by the 3 of Cam Nixie. And tells it hard into the outside wall. Tells it's going to spin out. And unfortunately, he's going to come back across the track right into the four. The four gets completely destroyed, Mitchell Collins. But we are not done yet because things are going to stack up very quickly. I see the 59, Carter Joey, and the 97 gets clipped. And in the 19, the 98, Chris Kyle, nowhere to go. The 5, the 22, the 0, 4, the 43, the 27, the 71, the 40, the 32, the 97, the 72, the double zero, the 22, the 99, the 8, the 6, the 5, the 34, and we actually had a car that went over. That's the 07, Bob Joseph. Let's go on board of Bob Joseph, see what he saw. Of course, absolutely nowhere to go. He's got Aureus right in front of him. Just look at the power up. And he's going to get clipped, and we lost the camera. 
I mean, look at that. The track is blocked. Man. Well, that didn't take long to get our first big wreck here at Rockingham. That usually happens on the first few laps. This time it lasted, what, 10? Eh, 11. Well, this will take a while to clean up. Once we do, we'll take you back to racing. And we are back. The 07, the 4, and the 36 are all out of the race. Cole Nixie is still one lap down. We have 39 cars left, 38 on the lead lap. Leroy Jones is our race leader. Second is Brock Beard. Third, Jack Legacy. Fourth, Carter Friesen. Fifth, Cam Nixie. Sixth, Cassie Dent. Seventh, Dale Jones. Eighth, AJ Jones. Ninth, Trevor Collins. And tenth is TJ Dent. The only saving grace about that big wreck is Cole Nixie was able to gain three spots. So Cole will not finish last in this race. Pace car pulls in. And we're back to racing here at the Rock. Leroy Jones, Brock Beard, Jack Legacy, all getting past Cole Nixie. Cole just has to ride around the last few laps with all that damage. He's going to slow up a lot of drivers because of that. Battle for position, you see the 31 car trying to go past the 28, but the 28 gets run on the high side. Jack Legacy, our Bush Series champion. Whoa, Brock Beard just tried to block him. Brock wants to get that second place finish, the best of his career. You see all these cars with damage, just riding around, hoping for another wreck, hopefully not involving them. You see the three car moving up a spot, past the 28. That's Cam Nixie. Cam has found victory here in this series before. He won at Michigan in Season 3. So Cam knows how to get it done on the speedways. Brock Beard about to be passed by the 31 car. Carter Friesian getting past that rookie. And Cam's going to try and move up into what his car number is, number 3. Look at Jack Legacy pushing him down the front stretch. Three wide for third. Nope. Jack Legacy backed out. Cam Nixie up to third. You see Carter Joey, I mean, excuse me, Carter Friesian trying to make a run into turn number three, but he loses ground. Trying to make that huge run. That will allow the three, Cam Nixie, to close in. And complete another lap. Drivers in one and three have no wings on their cars. Drivers in second and fourth, excuse me, yeah, fourth have wings. Of course, it doesn't really give them that much of an advantage. It's just the arrow wing. Leroy Jones continues to hold the race lead. Leroy is kind of having the Sammy Sabby Jr. effect where he debuts. He just has good run after good run. A former champion in the Wheel of Mural Elite Division. And short order too. Won by the closest margin of victory. So Leroy has done what a lot of other drivers haven't done. Won races and a championship. Of course, it does help that, you know, it's in a smaller series and you don't have as many drivers to compete against, but a championship is still a championship. Cam Nixie has moved into second place. That driver is very dangerous. You see Brock Beard has fallen back more. These other drivers, they've raced at this track before several times. Brock, this is his first time, so he's starting to lose ground. 23 laps has been completed. You see Cole, he's just riding around, just trying to survive. It's just not been his season. Four races in. Looks like we've calmed down just a little bit. Brian Fox could have, would have, should have won Richmond, but just got passed in the last few laps. Our Riverside race winner, Sammy Sabby Jr. He could have, would have, should have won Richmond, but he got passed in the last few laps as well. You see Muhammad Zain Abdullah just up ahead. There he is. 
having a good run, trying to win back-to-back -back races in this series. He's going to need a lot of luck if it's going to... Whoa, we got it. Oh, my God. Oh, hard hit. Oh, God. No, oh, look out. Oh, they just all start pounding. in. And we got another big wreck. And Cole has nowhere to go. And we're under caution yet again. Leroy Jones is our race leader. Here's the cause of caution. Of course, we were alive when it happened. Josh Nixie just gets too much of a run. Trevor Collins tries to block. The two cars make contact, and they spin right in front of Mohamed Zain Abdullah. Nowhere to go. And wow, look at that. All three cars lift off the ground. They start tumbling down the track. Let's see if we can get camera two. Nope, not yet. Bam! Hard impact by the 18 car. Cassie Dent. There we go. And unfortunately, everybody just starts stacking in. Jimmy Sampson, our points there got involved. The 99, Joshua Rush. The 34, Al Legacy. The 5, Logan, Logan Buchert. Orius, right into the 18's driver door. And look at this. They all just start stacking in. Nowhere to go. The track is completely blocked on the low lane. Man. And here comes poor Cole Nixie. Just slams on the brakes and doesn't make contact with anybody. And we are under caution here again at the Rock. Let's see. Let's go on board. Uh, let's go on board with Brian Fox. See what he saw. Running behind the 59, Carter Joey. He slams on the brakes just a little bit because he knows what's going to happen. See those two cars getting into each other? Wow. Man. There is a uh, side camera, isn't there? Yeah, there it is. Check this out. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. And they all just start stacking in. Silas Nixie is able to avoid driving the old car Treadle used to drive in. Al Legacy. Nowhere to go. Runs into the back. Of Jimmy Sampson and Orius almost hit Cassie Denton driver's door now that I look at it. The track is just blocked. Sebastian Torres got involved. Second big wreck in a row here at the Rock. Once again, this will take a while to clean up. The red flag is out. Once we get this mess cleaned up, we'll go back to yellow and take you back to the restart. And we are back. We got 20 laps to go. We have 31 cars still in this race. Once again, Cole Nixie luck lucks out. He's now in 29th. The first car one lap down. Leroy Jones is our race leader. Second is Cam Nixie. Third is Dale Jones. Fourth, Carter Friesian. Fifth, Jack Legacy. Sixth, Riley Spurley Tube. Seventh, Brian Mc McCason. Eighth, Brock Beard. Ninth, Sammy Savage Jr. And tenth is A.J. Jones. So 20 laps to go. At this rate, Cole Nixie will be in the top five if we keep having wrecks. Pace car pulls in. And we're back to racing here at the Rock. Great restart by the 13. Cam Nixie was not ready to go. And the 13 will pull away immediately. You see Cole Nixie with the damage he's received. Just trying to get out of everybody's way. Sometimes you can't do that no matter what you do. You see cars back there trailing the field because of the damage they received. And this is going to hurt Brock Beer because he's stuck on the high side. Back up front, you see the 16 car, Dale Jones, trying to go for second. Nope, not enough. Cam with a huge run off of turn number one. Does he have enough to clear? Nope. Leroy Jones still has the faith of this race in his hands. All he has to do is hit his marks. And Leroy will score his first win in this series. But don't give up on Cam Dixie because I mentioned before, he's a former Speedway race winner at Michigan. Right on the back bumper, Leroy Jones. Cam making his move for the race lead. And to turn number three. And to turn number four, Leroy Jones will run off the high side. He will keep his race lead. 
Laps are winding down. We got three car breakaway between Leroy Jones, Cam Nixie, and Dale Jones. Cam going to try again. Here we go. Will Leroy get a run off the high side once again? He's getting a little bit of a run. Leroy will lead that lap. But Cam will not clear. Leroy keeps the race. Oh, I spoke too soon. Here comes Cam again. You see the 34 car right behind them. Al Legacy, he is a lap down due to damage. But he's still in the running. Cam Nixie takes the lead finally off the 13 car. And Cam will lead a lap. Remember, there are no bonus points for leading laps, so it's just the honor system that Cam led a lap this season. You see all these cars that are damaged, just riding in the back, just doing laps. There's Silas Nixie, who was able to avoid the big wreck. Got a top 10 currently. You see Leroy Jones is stuck behind the 31 car. I'm pretty sure Leroy will not be happy about that. He's dominated most of the race. Got passed by Cam Nixie not too many laps ago. Now he's battling for second. Maybe the handling in that 13 car has gone away because the car doesn't seem as strong as it was a couple of laps ago. Be 12 laps to go this time by for Cam Nixie. Al Legacy right behind him, trying to get his lap back. The Nixie family only has one career win in this series. Of course, that comes at the expense of Cam Nixie. He won at Michigan, as I've already mentioned before, for several times. This will be the second win of the Nixie family. They haven't really had the greatest success in terms of wins, but... Cam has a win. Cole has a championship. So the two brothers are a great one-two tag team for this series. Of course, I'm pretty sure Cam would like to get himself a championship as well. 11 laps to go. You see Silas. There he is, still in 10th. He's got damage to the right side of his vehicle. So that's why he's not doing as good as he probably would. Jack Legacy, our Bush Series champion for season one. Trying to go past the 16, Dale Jones. Not enough. The 21 car, Brian McCason. Driving the car that Bulldog 67 drove here in season one where he swept this track. He's got a lot of pressure living up to, these, to that car. He's doing a fair job. He's in sixth spot. Back up front, Al Legacy is still hounding Cam Nixie to try and get his lap back, but Cam, I don't think he's going to let Al Legacy back a lap because Al is a very dangerous driver with or without damage. Al has won several races in his career as well as being a former champion in the IndyCar Series. So that's why Cam doesn't want Al back onto the lead lap. Laps are winding down. Be eight to go this time by. We will next see you on the SCRL uh, schedule at the Atlanta International Raceway. That should be a fun track. After that, we will return to the short tracks at Bristol. Go to the high banked track at Talladega, the fastest track on the schedule. Back to the short track of North Wilkesboro, Darlington, Charlotte for the longest race of the season, Martinsville, Michigan, and then back to Riverside for the second uh, return trip. And we'll start it all over again. Of course, with no Daytona uh, on the schedule, the biggest race of the season will be the Southern 500. 
which will come in the fall of the schedule. The lead is three seconds over Leroy Jones, who has found his way back into second place. We'll see if he has enough time to catch back up. Let's see who has the fastest lap. That would be Al Legacy, surprisingly, despite the damage. And we are catching lap traffic. The 32 car, Derek Edison, and the 27 of Cole Nixie. And look at Chris Kyle's car. <laughs> He's got no hood, but he still has his fender. That's very weird. The worst possible thing Cam Nixie could see right now is a caution. Although, if caution comes out at this point, I think this race would end under caution. You see Cam still battling Al Legacy. Al wants his lap back just for honor. But I don't think Cam's going to give it to him. Cam will lead yet another lap. The lead is now four seconds as Leroy Jones has lost second place to the 28 car, Jack Legacy. Jack is still looking for his first Legend Series win. He's more synonymous with the Bush Series, not the Cup Series, or the Legend Series. While his brother Al continues to hound Cam Nixie. Maybe he's hoping that Al will maybe take out the three. We got three laps to go for Cam Nixie. The lead is four seconds. We are catching lap traffic, but Cam's not in really no hurry to catch him. We got battle for second. Here comes the 31 car being pushed by the 75 car, Dillian Ibrahimen, who almost coulda, woulda, shoulda won at Riverside, but got passed on the last turn on the last lap by Sammy Sabby Jr. Cam Nixie has pulled away just a little bit over Al Legacy. Lap and a half to go for Cam Nixie. Still looking for his first championship. What a way to try and start off the season. Fourth race of the season. Cam will get his second win if he can go the next lap. White flag one lap to go for Cam Nixie. And to turn number one and to turn number two. He took the lead late from Leroy Jones and has not looked back since. His brother Cole struggled all race long while Cam worked his way up into the race lead. And to turn three and to turn number four for the final time. Cam Nixie is going to hold on. He scores his second career SCRL NASCAR Legends Series win here at the Rock. And way back there, there's second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Here are race results. Cam Nixie hangs on for his second career SCR on NASCAR Legends Series win. Second, Jack Legacy, five seconds behind. Third, Carter Friesian. Fourth, Dylan Ibrahim. Then. Fifth, Carter Joey. Sixth, Leroy Jones, who dominated most of the race but fell back into the last laps. The handling went away on the 13 car. Seventh, Paul Hogan. Eighth, TJ Dent. Ninth, Riverside Race winner, Sammy Sapper Jr. And tenth was Brian McCason. Rest of your race results. We had 28 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. Al Legacy did, in fact, finish the lap, so ignore that. We had three drivers, one lap down. A lot of drivers were out, including championship points leader Jimmy Sampson and second in points Muhammad Zain Abdullah. And finishing last, upside down, was Bob Joseph. Well, that is it for the fourth race of the season here at The Rock. We will take you to victory lane with the number three car of Cam Nixie. Here are the point standings after the fourth race of the season at Rockingham. With the win, Cam Nixie is our brand new points leader. He has a 14-point lead over TJ Dent. 
Third is Jack Legacy, 23 points behind. Fourth, Paul Hogan, 26 points behind. And fifth, Brock Beard, 45 points behind. Sixth is Riverside Race winner, Sammy Savvy Jr. Seventh is Ty Dent. Eighth, Leroy Jones. Ninth, Brian Fox. And tenth is Brian McCason. Eleventh is Riley Spurley, too. Twelfth, Silas Nixie. Thirteenth, Jimmy Sampson. He lost 12 spots. He was the points leader, and now he's back to 13th. Fourteenth is Dylan Ibrahimen. Fifteenth, Kristen Russell. 16th, R- Richmond race winner, Muhammad Zain Abdullah. 17th, Al Legacy. 18th, A.J. Jones. 19th, Carter Joey. And 20th, Sam and Oskin. 21st, Orius. 22nd, Eddie Wacumbe. 23rd, Simon Fox. 24th, Bob Joseph. 25th, Ryan Rush. 26th, Carter Friesian. 27th, Cole Nixie. 28th, Adam McDowell. 29th, Cassie Dent. And 30th is Chris Kyle. 31st, Dale Jones, 32nd, Kaka White Lion, 33rd, Derek Edison, 34th, Marco Telzit, 35th, Sebastian Torres, 36th, Zachary Fitzwater, 37th, Logan B. Kurt, 38th, Joshua Rush, 39th, Mitchell Collins, and 40th is Josh Nixie, 41st, Nathan Omard, and last is Trevor Collins. That is your point standings after the fourth race of the season at Rockingham. We will next see you at the fifth race of the season at the Atlanta International Raceway. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.